Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is your girl Priscilla, and this is giving you the business podcast. And today is Tuesday. This is not my normal day of broadcasting, but I decided to share my random thoughts with you on today. And if I have to give a topic, I would um, have to title this one as Be Careful Who You Drop Your Location To. The topic is Be Careful Who You Drop Your Location To. So, what I've noticed um, over the last probably four or five months, and probably longer than that. I'm going to say pretty much all of my life, but it has been more amplified over the last four months. So um, when you think about all of the rappers and people in the um, industry and even people in your local neighborhood getting murdered or houses being um, broken into, home invasions and all of this stuff. When you think about the dynamic of location, who you dropping your location to, we got to be very mindful of who we invite to our place where we lay our heads at. If we so freely give out the place that we call our safe haven, the place where we find peace, the place where we have what I'm saying, um, the, the place where you're supposed to feel the most secure. You're just giving everybody your address. Oh, I stay here, such and such, such and such. Come by sometime. Oh, Put your address on Facebook and and Instagram and Snapchat and you got your location on uh, and it shows where your picture's being taken. Do you know all these people that they call ops? Now they got access to where you lay your head, access to where you spend the majority of your time. So my problem with that is If you are a person and you have a celebrity mentality, you need to act as if you are already a celebrity because who knows one day you may become a celebrity. And the last thing you want to do is have all your fans out there with your address. And not only that, um, I, I was thinking about a situation in my life, right? And what I come to realize is that even the people that are getting murdered and homes are being invaded, people don't randomly come break into your house. Every now and then, you may get a random news article or a news story about a random act of home invasion or a random act of murder, um, aggravated assault. That's the the, the statistics show. Um, let's just say two uh, percent of home invasions, murders, and um, home break-ins, all this stuff. Two percent is people that don't know you. That's a random act. Ninety-eight percent of home invasions. And murders and aggravated assault charges are from people who have had contact with you in the past. They have been friends to you at some point. They may even be family members. Listen, it's sad to say, it's sad to say, but there's only a handful of people who know where I live. And it's been like that probably for the last, oh, I got to say, seven, eight years. Might be longer than that. 
I don't drop my address, my location with anybody. And like I told my cousin, you are a celebrity football player's mom. You need to act as if you are a celebrity football player's mom. You can't be out here telling everybody, my son played for the NFL. Oh, I stay at this address. Even these little guys that you call yourself kicking it with and dating or whatever, you having fun, they shouldn't have your address. These people should meet you or you should meet them at their spot or meet them at a hotel. You don't just let random people have your address. That's just one, one thing I do not do. And the the thing that happened to me when I was younger, um, when I had an altercation back when I was younger, the altercation happened because somebody that's some kin to me dropped my location and brought the person where I was at. And that's how I ended up in the altercation that I was in. Now, when I tell you, you can't trust nobody. I'm at that point in my life. If it ain't my children, my husband, God, that's the only people I trust. I, I'm to that point where I just cannot trust people because people get mad with you for the dumbest reasons. I mean, it could be something just as simple as jealousy. They see you doing good, now they beginning to get jealous. And now they want to start, you know, trying to, um, you know, try to get you killed or try to get you robbed. or I mean, you just never know what a person that envy you will do. And it's sad, too, that you, you have good intentions towards people and they silently hate on you. They silently plot against you. And in my mind, I'm saying, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to feed my family. I don't think I'm better than nobody, but I don't do certain things. Just because I don't do certain things, that doesn't mean that I think I'm better. I've outgrown that part of my life. So if I've outgrown that part, you got to respect it, understand it has nothing to do with you personally. This is my livelihood. This is how I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to live. So what I'm basically saying, we got to stop dropping our location to every each and I mean, each and every person we run in contact with. Just because a person has a good game, they talk a good game. You don't give them your address. I mean, like when you think about all these rappers and stuff that's been getting killed, these people getting murdered by people who grew up with them. By people who was friends and now they become ops. I, I mean, I honestly don't understand it. People, they don't care about you doing good. They just don't want you to do better than them. If you doing better than them, they will try to do anything they can to destroy your character. They'll try to bring you down. And then all this stuff, what I've noticed about all these celebrity men, when the industry get tired of you or they feel that you are washed up, then they want to start throwing these sexual harassment charges on you to mess up your character and try to ruin your career. The prime example with R. Kelly, this is my personal opinion. I don't care who don't like it. This is my podcast. So what... My personal opinion about the R. Kelly situation, did he have a fetish for young girls? I'm quite sure he did, based on certain evidence. Did he force some of them to stay? Um, he may have. Um, can't say because we don't have 100% evidence. But what I tell everybody is, who in their right mind do not want to be with R. Kelly? Come on, this is the king of R&B. All these little young girls, they look at a chance to be famous. R. Kelly come along. Now, it's perverted for him to try to go with a young girl. I wouldn't dare want him going with my young daughter. I would have a fit. But if my young daughter decides that she wants to be involved with R. Kelly, what can I do? 
if she over the age of 18, she's legally considered grown. So what can I do? With all them girls that's on that R. Kelly store, I don't care what nobody say. I feel in my heart, them girls voluntarily went to be with R. Kelly and they wanted the fame, they wanted the fortune. And then when they got there, things weren't like how they thought. And then now they want to get out. Okay, did he hold them against their will? Who knows? I can't say. I'm not the one to uh, make that judgment, make that call. But as a female, speaking on behalf of R. Kelly, I feel that a lot of those girls voluntarily went to that man's house. A lot of them voluntarily stayed at his house. A lot of women, they are looking for validation. They are looking for fame. They're looking for fortune. And they'll do anything with their bodies just to get it. So all of this is not 100% R. Kelly's fault. But as I was stating, with the situation, uh, with this sexual harassment, Bill Cosby, come on, man. 30 years later, come on. This man, oh, y'all want to try to do sexual harassment against Bill Cosby now all of a sudden. It should be a statute of limitation against that bull crap. If you don't find your sexual harassment within 15 days, get on away from here. Because at the end of the day, if somebody sexually harassed me right now, I'm going to report it today. I'm not going to wait 30 years later and be like, oh, by the way, Bill Cosby sexually harassed me or, or drugged me and had sex with me. 30 years later, come on. Man, y'all got to stop being so naive. When the industry get done with these people, they do anything they can to destroy them people's character and their future. And it's like, you're going to ruin my life because you have no more use for me in the industry. Just like with T.I., the stuff that him and Tiny going through. Okay, now all these girls coming out of woodwork. Oh, they inboxed me and said um, they wanted me to go on a venture. Okay, why you ain't been told that? Why y'all wait to the last minute or wait till it's beneficial to you or somebody else come out 10 years later and say, oh, I've been doing this with them for 10 years. Man, the police shouldn't even press charges against nobody when somebody come 10 years later I'm telling you, it should be a 15-day limit. That's 14 days plus an extra day to make up your mind on if you want to press charges on somebody. Man, I'm telling you, people people crazy. That's why you just got to... Um, you just got to pay attention, man. A lot of this stuff is, is industry trying to ruin people's character and ruin their lives because... I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, but be careful who you drop your location to because at the end of the day, the people that's closest to you, people that has been in contact with you, those are the ones more than likely that have access to you who can harm you. Ain't nobody going to randomly come and say, let me randomly go in this house and kill everybody in there. Come on now. People don't just randomly do that. Now, sometimes if they're trying to do gang initiations and stuff like that, they may randomly target houses. But the average crime that happens in America and around the world is because of people you grew up with, met, know, associated with, dropped your location to. That's how things happen. People ain't out here just doing random acts of violence against random people. Every now and then, like I said, 2%, you might hear about that. But 98% of the crime and the, the stuff that happens, it happens because of people you knew. Stop dropping your location. Turn your location off on your videos and your pictures. Stop telling people where you're located. Stop inviting everybody to your house. Don't have house parties where you don't have control over who pops up. Because some people have house parties and then you got this plus three. When I told you it's plus one, stop bringing all these extra people. Matter of fact, just when you have events, the best thing to do is to have the event at a building. Don't invite people to your place of safety where you feel at peace. 
Home is supposed to be a peaceful place. That's it for my random thoughts. They are very serious thoughts, though. This is nothing to take lightly. Too many people are being murdered and killed because they want to be friends. They want to fit in with everybody. They want to want to let me invite these people into my circle. Man, half of the people in your circle don't even like you. Stop inviting people into your circle. Stop dropping your location. I don't care if you at the the Macy's Mall, at the store, at the Macy, Macy's Mall, Macy's store, excuse me, at the mall. Don't tell people where you are at because that makes it easy for your ops to find you. And all y'all rappers out there talking about y'all don't need security. For common sense sake, get security. You cannot kill you might can with a, a, a assault rifle, but listen to what I'm saying. Get security because when they catch you slipping, it's going to be a done deal. And me personally, if I was a celebrity, I would have security everywhere I go. I don't care who say I'm scary. No, I just want to live because I know it's people out there who are preying on me. So be to protect myself. You right, I do have security. And all I can say is my security will be like the baby's security. Knocking out anybody who come within five feet from me. So hey, it is what it is. Say what you want. Yep. If I become a celebrity, which I plan on it, uh I will have security everywhere I go. And and that's period. Y'all have a great evening. That was just my random thoughts. Tune in again on Thursday, 8 p.m. I will upload a new um, episode. Um, Until then, y'all stay safe, stay prayed up, and always put God first. Peace.